Hey survivors, welcome to the video. Please like it and share your thoughts in the comment section. Click the subscribe button to be notified of my future videos. And please share this video with anyone who you believe may help. Narcissists hate people. They hate everything good that shows in other people which doesn't reflect in them. They hate their success and happiness. They hate all of the positive attention they get. They hate the money or material things they have. They hate not having control over them or the situation. They become resentful towards people because they believe that they were more deserving of whatever they had. It made them envious and jealous. Narcissists are uncomfortable seeing the success or happiness of other people. It hurts them greatly, especially people who are outside of their control. Narcissists hate people because they seem more happier, satisfied, fulfilled, or excited than the narcissist. They hate people because they wish that they could experience life the way that they do. They wish that they could be happy like them. They wish that they could be satisfied and fulfilled with whatever they have in their lives. They wish that they had something to feel excited about, but they don't. So they hate the people who do, and also the people who may not even appear to be happy or excited in any way. But because the narcissist has such distorted thoughts and feelings, they can't always tell who is happy and who is not. Everyone looks happy or excited compared to these miserable, boring people. Any amount of happiness, excitement, satisfaction or fulfillment you have in your life, past or present, it feels like a huge betrayal to them because they wish it was them. They wish they had that happiness they wish they had everything that you had. They wish they could have lived in that house or sat in that car. They wish they had all that money and free time. They wish that they could have had all of that attention, validation and admiration. They can't admit it to themselves that this is the truth. So it never gets resolved. And instead, they focus on tearing you down. Tearing you down for everything you ever showed to them that they didn't have. Everything you did that they could not do. Every bit of happiness you felt which they couldn't feel. Every bit of satisfaction and fulfillment which they never had but wish they had. All of the excitement you felt from doing those fun things. Because they wanted to experience that. They believe that they worked so hard in their lives for years. And they never even got a fraction of what you had. They know that it's hopeless for them. They will never get to experience anything close to what you did. This is where the pathological envy and jealousy comes from. The intense hatred and misery they feel within themselves soon becomes intense hatred, anger, envy and jealousy towards you. It fuels them to discredit and devalue you, enforce fly monkeys 
and create smear campaigns because everything you had everything you experienced they felt that they were more deserving of that money those material things or those experiences from this point on it's all about trying to make you feel the way that they once felt they will try to take away your family friends relationships career money and material things they will try to sabotage your success and prevent anything good from happening in your life because that's how their life was when you were having a good life when you were happy satisfied fulfilled and excited about your life maybe it didn't seem that great to you but remember narcissists have distorted thoughts and emotions they are hypersensitive to your happiness and success so they hate people they hate everything about them they wear a mask as though they love and care for everyone but this is just a false image they display to the world like in a smear campaign everyone pretends to like each other and bond over their hatred for the target but the truth is the narcissist hates all of their fly monkeys the fly monkeys hate the narcissist and all of the fly monkeys hate each other too they just create an illusion as though everyone likes each other but hates you the narcissist has to pretend as though they love people so they can get what they want so they can control the situation and control everyone in it it does not mean that they love or like anyone they are just using that to get narcissistic supply to feel powerful and in control of the situation and everyone in it to obtain attention validation approval and admiration the truth is narcissists do not like people at all they hate them they might like their qualities happiness or success in the beginning but when they realize that those qualities happiness or success cannot be theirs they will hate that too they will devalue their qualities and destroy their happiness and success they can make it so believable though when they look at you and talk to you they might be smiling as though they are happy to see you but in their minds the narcissist is thinking about how they can get what they want from you how can they obtain their, their narcissistic supply if they have met you several times and are aware of your happiness or su success they will also be thinking about how much they hate you and how can they take away your smile your happiness triggers them to reflect on how miserable they are your success triggers them to reflect on their lack of success it makes them want to destroy your happiness and then let you witness their happiness or at least their illusion of happiness as we know a narcissist can never really be happy it also makes them want to destroy your success so that they appear to be more successful than you are basically once the narcissist has witnessed your happiness or success your satisfaction or fulfillment your excitement in any aspect of your life 
from that point on, you have caused a huge narcissistic injury. From that point on, they are going to do everything they can to put you in their position while they try to be you or who you are meant to be. They want you to feel exactly the way that they felt. When you were so happy, satisfied, fulfilled and excited about your life and everything in it. Maybe you had a nice house, money, material things, a good career, women or men if you are a woman. That caused a huge narcissistic injury. They hate people anyway due to their distorted thoughts and emotions. But the fact that they were able to witness all of this in your life really made them feel a certain way. From that point on, their purpose in life is to destroy you and everything good they ever saw in your life. Because they didn't have any of that. So they will enforce fly monkeys and create smear campaigns. They will try to get you kicked out of your house. They will trick you into spending all of your money or investing it in the wrong place. They will damage your material possessions or even steal them. They will sabotage your career or any relationships. Because they are pathologically envious and jealous. And witnessing everything you've got going on in your life. Which they didn't have. And probably will never get to experience. It's killing them inside. And they are not going to take it out on themselves. No. They are going to project it all onto you. Not because you did anything to them. But because you showed them everything they wanted. But could not have. You showed them everything they wished they could be. Narcissistic men are misogynists. They hate women. They hate everything about them. And I'm not just talking about abusive or manipulative women. They hate good, loving, caring women even more. They see them as being vulnerable, weak and something to exploit and take advantage of. It's the same thing with misandrists which are women who hate men. They hate men, everything about them. Especially men who are good, loving and caring people. They see them as being something to exploit and take advantage of. Like an object to be used for their benefit. I just want to make it this clear. That it is both men and women who hate each other. And this isn't just among narcissists. Look around, this is happening everywhere. Men hate women, good or bad. Women hate men, good or bad. They are just using them for their own selfish needs. Men use women for physical affection. Women use men for money, status and power. This does not mean that they actually like each other. They don't. In fact, they will take the opportunity as a way to express their hatred towards the opposite sex. It is no secret that men like BDSM, violent and extreme pornography. 
Men like to express their hatred and frustration for women through sexual activities. So what was supposed to be an act of love is now an act of hate and resentment. Women like BDSM too. Just look up Fifty Shades of Grey. Some like to be dominant. Some like to be submissive. But whichever role they play, what does that say about them? The dominant woman loves to hate and abuse, while the submissive woman is more comfortable with being hated and abused. I believe that this is all a result of childhood abuse and neglect, childhood traumas which were never resolved. I also believe that there is a reason why men are so misogynistic and women are misandristic. We live in a narcissistic world. People are self-absorbed. People just use each other for their own gain. There is no real love or care for one another. At some point in their lives, I'm sure the misogynist man or misandrous woman was rejected by someone of the opposite sex. Or maybe they were in a relationship with them and were completely abused or neglected. They never looked within themselves or tried to resolve that trauma. So instead the resentment and frustration built up inside them. And if you look at men and women today, that resentment and frustration is now all around us. Now we have groups like MGTOW, men going their own way. We have women who act like men and want to be dominant and in control of everything. We have men who just use a woman for, the, for her vagina and then want nothing to do with her. We have women who claim that they have been assaulted or raped just to get money or ruin a man's life. I could go on and on, but I think the message is clear. Men hate women. Women hate men. People hate people. There really are a large number of narcissistic people in this world. And it's got to the point now where it has become undeniable. I am a man who loves God and loves people. I have always been a lover of women. I have always been more interested in giving to a woman rather than taking. But of course, I do not like narcissists. I don't care if they are a man or woman. If they are abusive or manipulative, I don't want anything to do with them. And this is the mindset you need to have. People will make it very clear to you if they hate people. There is a difference between a person who, who hates people and a person who hates people who hate people. Think about that. It's very important. And I know you empaths know what I'm talking about. How we pick up on people and how they feel very quickly. Anyway, I just want to finish this video on a positive note. Continue to heal from narcissistic abuse. Welcome positive, good, loving, caring people into your life. Anyone who does not possess those qualities, forget them. They may act arrogant and entitled as though you should want them for whatever it is that they possess. But what good are they? If they are not good, positive, loving or caring people, Once someone allows so much frustration 
and resentment to build up in their hearts to the point where they can no longer experience any positivity or love they have no value to me so continue to love continue to care for each other and through my videos let me speak to you let me share my positivity and love with you and yours with me together we will learn together we will grow together we will heal and recover from narcissistic abuse thank you for watching the video please like it and share your thoughts in the comments I look forward to speaking with you in another video very soon.